Hi, this is Larry from Taylor's Do It Center. We're here to talk to you today about uh, doing some repairs and, and prevention for uh, their upcoming cold weather. Hopefully not a deep freeze, but it might be. We have uh, several, several items here to protect you from the deep freeze or repairs if we have the deep freeze in case you weren't prepared. If you have a broken pipe, uh, first thing we want to tell you is we do not recommend this. You take a really big chance on setting your house on fire. We don't want to hear about it on the news or see you in the paper. Now, you can use a hair dryer if you want. Uh, it's going to take a little longer, but it does work. Biggie here in, in our area is to put this little cover on your uh, outside spigot for your garden hose. It's very important that you do that because that transfers the cold into your house and you end up with frozen pipe. Secondly, uh, caulk around the windows, doors, um, any place that we get water or we get air is going to uh, come back to bite us. Just plain latex caulk for around your doors and windows works really well. Now, once you've done that, we have to go in and start working from the inside out. I have some spray foams. There's a couple of different kinds. Both of them are really, really good. They will stop the uh, cold from penetrating in past your pipes. Uh, pipe insulation, very easy to install. This, this and a little bit of tape, you're in business. So your front door doesn't seal really well. I have a, a uh, wind block or draft stop is another term. Around your doors and windows, I have foam tapes. I have some uh, little uh, sealers that go behind your switch plates and receptacle plates. Very easy to install, one or two screws and you're done. Now, on your windows and especially patio doors, if you have an older home, these help seal the uh, air out and the warmth in, very, very important. If uh, you have a pump outside or uh, exposed pipes outside, you can put one of these heat tapes on. It uh, works well, doesn't use any electricity unless it gets too cold. Comes on around 40 degrees and it'll continue to warm your pipes until the temperature raises back up. The only thing that you have to remember is not to cross it. You don't want to lap it over like this because you will burn it up and uh, you don't have any protection. If you have any questions, visit one of our 11 locations and let's do it together. Taylor's Do It Center, one family helping others since 1927.